Some Randolph County residents say they still can't believe the weekend's deadly turn of events. Authorities say a local man shot and killed two people before turning the gun on himself. News 3's Ryan Kruger has the story. It looks like any house in America, but what happened here early Sunday morning still has neighbor Christine Stapleton in shock. I called my sister and she said, it's terrible what happened to your neighbors. And I said, what happened to my neighbors? Authorities say Stapleton's neighbor, 35-year-old Brian Morrison, shot and killed his in-laws, 52-year-old Stanley Garbs and 46-year-old Tamara Carroll, before ultimately turning the gun on himself. The three dead bodies were found lying in the driveway. Oh, it was devastated. It was horrible. Couldn't believe it. The Randolph County Sheriff's Department says Morrison was arguing with his wife late Saturday night. She called her parents to pick up her and her two kids, and that's when investigators say the fight turned deadly. I can't believe it. It's just shocking. Beth Kane has been friends with Morrison for years. She still can't believe what happened. My husband hunted with him, and they went to the boat shop together. And Is your husband pretty torn up about it, too? Or? Oh, yeah. Morrison lived in the small town all his life, and residents say most people in town knew him well. They never believed that this was something he was capable of. Very nice guy. Very sweet. Give the shirt off your back. Silly at times, but yeah, he was a real nice guy. In Coulterville, Ryan Kruger, News 3. Morrison's wife and children were not injured. The investigation is ongoing.